This was a tough job, I'm not gonna lie. There's no way to cut it. Today we got a big construction debris removal job on our hands. So we got this big pile over here. Looks like we got an old hose, some wood, PVC, we got some vinyl siding, more lumber. We got scrap metal, wood. I don't know what that is. Looks like maybe a water heater, some pallets. And then over here, uh, we got this old stove that the customer wants us to move, but this thing is heavy, very heavy. So customer says she has a tractor over there that she can get into the bucket and then we can take it over to the truck put it on the lift gate but at least we're able to back right up to the pile which is kind of nice and hopefully it takes no more than I don't know maybe an hour now I wish this job only took an hour because once we got to work and we removed that top layer of debris there was just loads of small bits of wood and, and insulation buried underneath that pile and that's why it's important when you get construction debris jobs that you look at them in person because you wouldn't be able to see some of this stuff from a picture and so on top of all that it was super hot out so we had to take a couple breaks to stay hydrated and maintain our composure so we didn't pass out but yeah this was definitely a lot of work because look how close we are to it let me show you so you can see the back of the truck and here's the pile so we can throw this on no problem uh, here's it under the ground you can see we're right up on the ground there so one thing about the box truck that i did not realize is that with the lift gate being underneath it it's hard to go up hills, especially backing up them because it will hit the ground sometimes. So you got to be careful. We didn't run into that on this job, but it was just something that I thought I'd share that I did not know about. So if you get a box truck and it has a lift gate, just keep that in mind. So we're going to go ahead and get started with this job and get it knocked out. So we got a lot of this small scraps of wood. So, you know, we had to do it. Bust out the tarp. So trying to throw all this little stuff on here what you know about that tarp tarp gang here we go oh man it's hot it's humid out but that's what we got so far in the box truck got this old piano down here that's gonna be heavy right there you got these pallets uh, this one's pretty long uh, check out that that pipe goes all the way there, all the way there. It has to be at least 20 feet. I'm gonna have to saw that in half. But yeah, trying to fill up this tarp first with all the small stuff. We got some wasp and hornet killer eliminator. All right, they're over there, Jerry. Go ahead and get them. So if the heat and the amount of debris weren't bad enough we had to run into wasp. So they were inside the PVC pipe that we were removing and there were about seven, eight of them that kept coming at us. But with the wasp and hornet killer, uh, that seemed to take care of them. All right, we're all done. This was a big upright piano and it's so heavy and it's embedded almost into the ground. It's too heavy, we can't get that. And we're running out of room in our box truck. This concrete chimney, too heavy again running out of room but we got all the debris all the wood picked up as you can see here's everything and this is a 16 foot box truck so keep in mind that thing is full two water heaters got that little blue one in the back and this one in front everything's this in is here. a tough job i'm not gonna lie there's no way to cut it the heat just made it so unbearable um Luckily, though, we were able to get, the, like I said, the truck right up to the pile. But yeah, this construction debris removal job over here in Rogersville, it was a lot of work, definitely. Uh, one of the harder ones we've done. But back in, but cracking junk removal, we don't shy away from any job. So we're happy to help out our customer and get it all done.
we're at the landfill. I'm gonna throw everything out, so go ahead, hop up here. You can see how full it is. We got everything in here, even the two water heaters.